Okay. Are we good? Are we yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Hey guys, um, I'm here at the Sin, and uh, you've been following me. You guys know that there's literally tens of thousands of people. This is just one location before we go to the stadium tomorrow. But in, at the very end, we're getting ready to leave. This gentleman comes over to me. I don't know him from Adam. Um, he said that that he, he's a prophet. He's got a prophetic gift, and God highlighted uh, to him uh, me and Cheryl, and he wanted to anoint us. And the anointing for Cheryl was, uh, um, I can't remember exactly what it was. It was just deeper understanding of revelations and identity, revelations of righteousness, revelations of God's love, revelations of God, just identity revelations, and foundation then, revelations. Yeah, foundation revelations. And then he, he came over and he said he wanted to anoint me. And, and what did you say exactly for that in real short? So the, the Lord is going to give him a mantle of a famous evangelist, someone who's in the cloud of witnesses, it's, it, and he's going to reveal it to you. And he's going to reveal to me. Wow. And uh, and then he said that there was a, like a, a spirit of Joseph or, or something like that uh, that was connected to that. And in the process, um, you know, I just sat there and listened to the whole thing. It was absolutely amazing uh, that, that he did this. And then we got to talking, and then the whole thing got reversed. And the father began to give me prophetic words for him. And I heard the word uh, Jeremiah, a spirit of Jeremiah. And he said that he was giving a prophetic word at a um, at, at, at some sort of uh, a Christian event. And he literally got thrown out of the event. And they said that you have the spirit of Jeremiah on you. And, uh, and so we began to talk uh, back and forth, just amazing things that were happening. God was giving me some prophetic words for him that, that God's really called him to a very high calling. Uh, but but the father wanted to deepen his root of understanding the Hebrew root of where of where he came from and the prophetic uh, power uh, the spirit I should say from Jeremiah and Daniel Ezekiel that has specifically been given to this this gentleman. So at the at the very end, uh, out of nowhere, I didn't say anything, but he says he says you know God's been giving me some really weird words lately. Uh, the father has been telling me you know he said he said Jim you know how you can you can eat whatever you want, like everything is clean, but God's telling me I can't have pork and I can't have shellfish. And he says that, that I'm, I'm uh, adopted. Uh, what'd you, how'd you I mean, say? He said you're a Jew by adoption. And I, he has me follow Levitical law, chew cut. And I, I I'm so tired right now, I can't even think about it. But he's, he wants me to get into the Jewish holidays for Purim. He had me read the book of Esther. And he keeps, he keeps highlighting Messianic Jew. He wants me to kind of be like a Messianic Jew, which is totally weird to me because I don't think I have any Jewish ancestry. Yeah. So, well, you have Jesus, right? So, He's kind of yeah. Jewish. So listen. Yeah. Being the Jews, you know? <laughs> guys, listen. This guy, okay? Now, if you're watching this, you guys know, you know what? You, you, all of you are laughing right now because you, you know what God is actually saying to this guy. You're so close. You're so close. Okay, it's not messianic Jew, but but you're gonna find out more. Uh, it's it's messianic, and he's bringing you back to the Hebrew roots of your faith, and and the reason why. I heard one flesh. One flesh. He's, he's gonna he's gonna be one flesh with me. He was a Jew. Yeah. So I, is that is that on the internet? You're, you're so close, man. I, I, when it, <laughs> okay, listen, Lord. when he wa all of you are are yelling identity crisis right now, that's what he's going to watch, and he's gonna understand what the Holy Spirit is actually telling him, okay? Uh, and what's fascinating is the word that you gave my wife was was identity. And the moment you said that, because identity crisis was the word that I, I have for you. So what I believe, guys, I'm so excited right now because the Holy Spirit's been so thick. The second I got off the bus, uh, Tyler will tell you, Tyler Lance is over here, my buddy. My, my entire body was, every hair was standing up. I could almost was going to pass out because the Holy Spirit was so thick in this place. And here at the very end, uh, after I spent an hour talking to a guy, right off the bus, God uh, gave me a, 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 a divine appointment. Uh, then I meet this gentleman who comes up to me. And so I want you guys to see the spirit of the living God is in operation right now. He's moving in the earth realm and the group of 75,000 people they're gonna meet tomorrow that are all being connected and being praying for Israel and that's the spirit that this guy right here is is a is a prophetic gift a strong prophet in the Lord and he's hearing God the affirmation that he's hearing God is you guys know why he's hearing from God that he's telling him hey I, I can eat everything but God's telling me I can't and that don't make any sense to me because the Bible says everything is clean 
he just doesn't know that the Bible never actually said that. So God's trying to tell him that the Bible was manipulated, it was messed up. Don't believe that part, it's been interpreted wrong. Listen to my voice, says the Lord. So let me encourage everyone that's out there tonight, don't listen to what everyone's telling you. You need to listen what the Holy Spirit is telling you because the Holy Spirit transcends translations. He transcends interpretations and he transcends everything that anyone's ever told you. If someone told you that you're not good enough, Holy Spirit says you're good enough. God's about to open a gate, a gate of revival. When we're talking about when the prophet began to go into the river and it went up to his ankle and then his knee and then his waist and then his chest, this is the moment that we're living in right now. These are the days where God says he opened up, he blew up the dam in 2022. And we have crossed over the Jordan River. We are in the Gilgal. He is circumcising his people right now. And he's putting together the worshipers and Jericho is about to fall. The river is coming out from underneath the throne room and he's asking for his people to begin to learn how to swim. Stop trying to build your boats. Stop trying to strive to figure out how to do this and do that and keep this and keep that. The Holy Spirit says, get in the water. Get in the water and trust me. Listen to my voice and amazing and incredible things will begin to happen. So guys, thank you so much for your prayers, for being out here on this event. It's only begun and I can't wait to see what's gonna happen tomorrow. So man, be praying for this gentleman. His name is Patrick, okay? I believe he's got the spirit of Jeremiah on him. So I'm calling him Jeremiah because that's what God says his name is. So um, anyway, shalom to all out there and we'll talk to you soon and tomorrow. Talk to you later. And by the way, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. <laughs> Jesus. That's like a major confirmation. Really? Why yeah, is that? So a lot of just things God's been telling me when I was discouraged just to get the enemy attacks and it's a major confirmation of a lot of things. So there you go. Uh, yeah, the whole Jeremiah thing. And the, the whole uh, the food thing is weird. And I'm, I'm getting ready to understand this. You're going to understand it and you're going to be blown away, man. Listen. Yeah. The enemy is that has put doubt in your mind because men say, hey, you're not here from the Lord. When you find out why the Holy Spirit has been telling you, like not to eat certain things or to do this or that you're, you know, that he's adopted you, you know, so on and so forth. You're never going to doubt again. And as you begin to understand your identity, because you don't know your identity, but you're hearing identity, but your mind has not intellectually understood what the Holy Spirit is actually saying. Because right, because sometimes you say the Holy Spirit says stuff and you're like, man, why? You know, I was sitting on an airplane next to a guy on the way to Israel and God told me this guy is a liver problem. So I'm too scared to say anything because I'm like, who starts a conversation but say, hey, my name's Jim, do you have a liver problem? <laughs> so I did it in a, in, a, in a really weird way. I said, yeah. hey, by, by chance, do you know anybody that has a liver problem? Yeah. And this guy freaked out, right? Because he literally had liver surgery two days early. Okay, and so sometimes Holy Spirit gives you words that's so strange, you know that, and 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 the power of doubt shuts down uh, the Holy Spirit. So what I really believe for you is once you understand the depth of what your calling is all about and what He's doing in the earth realm today and how it connects to the back of the book or the front of the book, I should say, you are going to be a powerhouse, man, a powerhouse, a royal priesthood. Yeah, this is prophetic. He told me to go to uh, Marshalls today and pick this out and he said um, royal priesthood of Melchizedek he said wear it today <laughs> I was like okay Lord Pro prophetic wow. shopping yay this is unbelievable <laughs> you guys I wish you were here and if you were anywhere close to so royal stadium Lord, in Kansas the Lord is telling me have you ever heard of a Ryland uh, Redeemed Rick uh, God, I can't think of his last name his name's Ryland he's an apostle and uh I feel like the Lord wants you all to, to talk on the phone and then to maybe do one of these video shows. And he's, he's got a lot of revelation and a lot into the Lord of Melchizedek. That's one of his, his deals. I don't fully understand it. He just started teaching me. So uh, I'm just I'm just kind of getting some of his revelations. I really feel like the Lord is highlighting that the two of you will talk and do one of these things. And there's going to be more revelation going back and forth. That's awesome. Also, there's going to be a, uh, a cross-pollination. Yeah, when the Spirit's yeah. moving, man, yeah. it's just awesome. Gosh, I wish you guys could be here. This is amazing. I haven't experienced this in a long time. So if you are remotely anywhere near Kansas City, show up at the sin. It will change your life. I've only been here two hours, and it's already 
radically changing my and I met Jeremiah the prophet. So I've been looking for you for 3,000 years. It's very nice to meet you today. All right, guys. Shabbat shalom. We'll talk to you later. God bless.